Hello again, and welcome back, Skeleton Crew, to another Ratnarok classic cartoon commentary. And today, we're headed back to 1956. December 5th, 1956, to learn us a little something from Jiminy Cricket about our senses of smell and taste, and I'm fascinated. That's correct. You are a very special breed. Yeah, how about that? Or you are the only animal. That can what? Who can think? Who can read? Yeah. Who can read? Okay. I mean, that all checks out. Think and reason, though. That's kind of hard to be confident about. I'm pretty sure we're the only animals that know how to read, but to think and reason, that's eh, a stretch. But I like the confidence. I like the ego boost. Hey, glad to be looking in. Huh? Yeah. Okay. That could be a lot of things. Air. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, unless you're eating them. Flowers can be food. I want. I want that to be known. Let's go back a few years. Okay. To what, like 1950? We'll start with early man. That's more than a few years. He used his sense of smell to uh -huh. help him locate food. Okay. So like the smell of a mastodon? Oh. Well, that's just theft, and I think that would burn your mouth. Ooga dada. Ooga -da. Now, what was that? She really just let that happen. That's what I thought he was going to smell. Uga Dada is just every... Or, oh, wait. Is that... Okay, okay. He is eating mammoth. Because he took a bite, said Uga Dada. And the mammoth came out from behind a rock. And he said Uga Dada again. Just deduction and reason alone dictates that it must mean mammoth. Anyway, I stopped paying attention. What are we doing? Who's this dog? It's true. Why? Wow. Wow, that's pretty wild. And mine's smaller, because I have a messed up septum. Okay. No? But the dog's nose... <laughs> okay, well, dogs don't actually eat the bones. Well, I guess maybe they do. I mean, I guess, huh? Because I get my dog bones, and she chips away at them, and I guess she swallows the little tiny pieces. That sounds dangerous. There you go. It's exactly what we're talking about. What's Seal Island? I want to know more about Seal Island. And so, he likes a great variety of tasty dishes. Yeah, that makes Potato sense. Soup. Potato Salad. soup. Roast turkey. Wow. This is roast turkey Scoop. and fried chicken at the same meal? <laughs> this kid's living lavish. How big's his family? Is this all for him? That seems unreasonable. Oh, no. They're just meaningless. Because without your sense of smell, yeah. your taste buds uh, stick out your tongue, boy. <laughs> your tongue stick out your tongue, boy. I'm going to start saying that whenever my son Maverick has something in his mouth. Oh, bitter's all the way in the back, huh? Pretty, and then sour was up front, was at the top? I suppose that makes sense. I want to go test that out. Salt is definitely the sides. Taste with their tongues or smell with their noses. Excuse me? Certain fish taste with the outsides of their bodies. Oh, that's and weird. With their tail fins. Oh. And that Mr. Could you imagine, like, rubbing it up against something and tasting it? So is it just the whiskers on a catfish, or do they taste through their scales as well? Call the fish fish bait. 
Form a sea day. Wow. Okay. He smells with his antennas. The ants live in What does he taste with? Scouts are sent out to It'd be a lot harder to step on an ant when, you know, if they look like that. If they were adorable. That's the thing about bugs. They're easy to squish because they're not cute. I guess that's subjective. I don't think they're cute, so I have no qualm in smushing. I smush ugly things. <laughs> oh, man. What happened? I kind of wish every everything looked like its cartoon equivalent. Do any of these other bugs find it weird that you're a bug too, Jiminy? And you can wear clothes and talk? That would be the worst. That would be the absolute worst. Tasting with your feet? Yes. Mm-hmm. So think about this. Your tongue is <sighs> Anytime the you smell a fart, <laughs> you're also in, also tasting it too. <laughs> Whoa. Hmm. Now some people won't believe this. So maybe that's why you don't enjoy <laughs> the smell of a fart. Because you hear, well, no, I just said you are tasting it. I don't know what I'm, I don't know what I'm getting at. It's just potty humor. Well, you're the one peeking for her. Okay. Oh, this is going to make her brain explode. That sounds really fun. I want to try that out. Okay. Yes. Yes. Wow. I'm taking away a lot here, guys. And I hope you are, too. I am grateful I can't taste with my feet. And now I know when I smell a fart, I am inevitably tasting it as well. There's my podcast where you can uh, get a little more of that golden insight. Anywhere and everywhere podcasts are available, including LeoLegacy.com. And if you put a slash shop at the end of that, it takes you there. Our skeleton crew store. Go scope it out. If you like what we do, that's the best way to support, along with following us on social medias, at Leo Legacy Everywhere. And uh, that being said, thanks for being a friend. And telling a friend. See you.